Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Circle T Toastmasters tonight, where our theme is Thanksgiving. This is John Hallett. He represented Medicine Hat on a world stage of public speaking at the Toastmasters International Convention in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Hallett rose above 30,000 Toastmasters participants from around the world to compete in the semi-final rounds, which was back in August. Hallett was representing District 42 from Alberta and Saskatchewan. How the contest works is there's six levels. So we start at a club level, then there's four levels so that it gets to be District 42, which is Alberta and Saskatchewan. Then the winner of that, it goes on to the semifinals. So there's a total of 91 districts right now across Toastmasters International. So it was the 91 best of their organization competing against each other in Kuala Lumpur this year. How it worked was, uh, it was unique seeing the audience being an international audience with a flair and how they responded. You could notice a significant difference from Alberta or where I had been practicing the speech to sitting in Kuala Lumpur where some of the lingo just didn't quite connect as well as it did over here. So, Hallett was born and raised in Airdrie, Alberta and now works in the military. He joined Toastmasters in 2009 and has been a member ever since. He says being able to go to Malaysia and compete in the world's largest speech contest was a little overwhelming. Uh, I'm a simple farm kid from Airdrie, Alberta, and to go to an international stage where some folks take it very, very seriously, as well as corporate clubs. In Asia, Toastmasters is very big for the corporate audience where they get to do business meetings and they get to improve their English in a corporate setting. So there's a lot of money behind those clubs. So when an individual from them is able to enter, there's thousands of dollars potentially available for coaching. Or I'm just watching YouTube videos, reading books, putting together a few things out of Alberta. I, would, I never thought that Toastmasters International would be so broad. It was really overwhelming to be on the stage with uh, seven other members, or nine other members from seven other countries. Hallett says Toastmasters has really helped him in public speaking. He says when he's preparing for a speech, he'll go out to his garage and practice. So I, I like to write it out word for word, kind of massage it as I go. And then when I get down to having to deliver it, I find that I use the garage as the best place. My wife doesn't look at me as odd as she normally would when I'm running around the living room and there's a lot more room out here. So I can move around into uh, different spaces using the stage, another technique that you learn with effective speaking. And it helps me with the eye contact as well because I will look at certain portions of my garage, a plug outlet or a, my drill press, and then I'll give, deliver a line to them and then it helps me with the eye contact as well. He feels it's best to have that special place to practice your speech. You, you have to find a place where you can drill it as you would give it. If you uh, practice how you would deliver a speech when you're going. So if you don't have a place that you can really let yourself practice, work the vocal variety and stop, move, and do it just like you would if you were live, it's hard to perform differently if you've been practicing it a different way. Hallett didn't place in the finals in Malaysia with his speech titled, Be Thankful for Your Blessings, but he says he is ready to compete again next year. For more information about Toastmasters, www.toastmasters.org. For Go Southern Alberta, I'm Leanne Evans.